A lot of people say something like this, that I don't like church, I, I don't care for the cross and the blood and all the gore of that, but I like Jesus. I like his teachings, I like his lifestyle, I, I like him as an example of how to live. Well, the Bible's very clear about why Jesus came. In 1 John 4 verse 14, it says that he came to be the savior of the world. And also, you know the story of the birth of Jesus in Bethlehem. The angels say, unto you is born this day in the city of David, a savior. And that's what we need. I love the true story about a man who came to a pastor after his teaching on Sunday, his sermon and said, I don't like your sermon. I don't like what you're teaching. He says, well, what do you mean? He says, all that about the cross and repentance and, and Jesus' blood, he goes, I like Jesus as, well, as an example, as someone I can follow that way. He goes, well, what if I change my teaching just to talk about Jesus as an example, as a role model, as a great teacher? Would you follow him? He goes, yes. He said, okay, let, let's take the first step. And he told him that Jesus lived a sinless life. So tomorrow and this week, you follow Jesus as your example and you live without sin. And he said, well, I, I can't do that. He said, I know none of us can. That's why the first step is to know him as savior. You know, I think Jesus is a great example. He is a great teacher, but most of all, and first of all, Jesus has to be our savior. And then and only then, can we follow him the way he's called us to follow? Let's never forget, Jesus is so much more than a teacher, a philosopher, an example. He's a savior, sacrificed for our sins.